What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Speed Radar Light and the LPR Light. Let's do it. What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we're back with another LSPDFR tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless our troops that they're fighting for our freedom. God bless our veterans and God bless Israel. So today guys I'm going to be showing you how to install Speed Radar Light and ALPR Light. Yesterday we installed Vehicle Search and Stop the Ped. So today we're going to be doing these right here. Go ahead and click that first link down there guys. Let's get right into this and get down to business. Click that speed radar light. It's going to bring you to this page right here. These are Bajojo mods, okay? As you guys know, he is my favorite modder in the LSPDFR community. Uh, we're going to be installing this version right here, 1500. So go ahead and scroll on down. Click that blue download button right there. And then go ahead. Now remember, guys, this is where you click... Um, the green download button and you have to close out that window that pops up immediately because uh, it'll give you a virus it's it's actually a virus so click it I'm gonna show you guys how to do this click out of that all right now what do you want to do with speed radar light well you can save it right here immediately to your downloads page you'll throw it right in your downloads folder or you can click save as and put it where you like so, so you guys are doing that I'm going to cancel out of that and um, let me close out of this and let me close out of this and go ahead and click that next one that says ALPR light 1500 and we're also going to be going into game guys I'm going to show you how these uh, mods work uh, forgive me guys I do have a little bit of a headache right now so just bear with me I'm not feeling uh, top notch so uh Click that that blue. Click the blue download button right there. And then again, guys, we're gonna click this green download button. And we're gonna close out of that window immediately. Give it just a second. Oh, there it is. See, guys, that beep is so loud in my ear, and that does not help my headache at all. Oh my goodness. All right. So, what do you want to do with ALPR light one five zero zero? Again, guys, you can save it immediately uh, straight to your downloads folder from here, or you can click Save As and put it in your destination of choice. I'm going to close out of that, and I'm going to go ahead and close out all this now that we've got our downloads done. All right, let's get down to business, guys. Again, this is going to take your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. So go ahead and open up your GTA 5 directory. All right, should bring you to this page right here. And then go ahead and double click that Speed Radar light. All right, and bring that up. Now, this is pretty simple, guys. It's not a hard install. Go ahead and double-click Speed Radar Light right there in WinRAR. Okay? And then all you have to do, of course, make sure you're scrolled down right above this GT5 EXE. Okay? Highlight that plugins folder. Drag it. Three, two, one, drop. Okay? And there it is. All right? Now that we got that, go ahead and click Refresh on your GT5 directory. Close out of your WinRAR, get rid of your Speed Radar Light shortcut, and then next up, ALPR Light. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and double click that. Bring this page up right here. Again, scroll down to your GTA5.exe. We're going to install. We always install right above it, okay? And uh, double click ALPR Light in the WinRAR. Again, guys, grab this plugins folder, okay? Grab it, drag it right here. And three, two, one, drop. Just like that. Okay? So go ahead and close out your WinRAR. Delete that shortcut. And I'm going to go in and show you guys how to manipulate these files. I think the only one we've really got to mess with is the Speed Radar Light. Okay? Double click your plugins folder. Double click LSPDFR. Alright? And then go down to, let's do the ALPR Light first. Let's look at it because I don't think we have to change anything. So double click this right here. The ALPR light config settings, throw your INI file, all right, and then pull this up. And I don't think there's anything we need to change here, guys. Uh, the key to turn on your ALPR light and to turn it off 
is F8. This is where I'm at right here, guys, toggle key. I would highly recommend just leave it at F8. If you want to put it somewhere else, that's fine. But it has to be on the F keys, like F1, F2, F3, F4, etc. It has to be up there. It can't be like your letters, your numbers. It has to be one of the F keys on top, okay? So I would highly recommend leave it like this. If you guys are following my tutorials and you want to do this exactly the way I'm doing it, I have everything set to a specific uh, key on the keyboard so I know exactly where it is. And trust me, guys, you'll memorize it. You'll eventually memorize where everything is. I, I can tell you exactly where everything is on my keyboard and what it does. So um, the rest of this, yeah, it's good, guys. We don't need to mess with none of that. Everything is good. So go ahead and close out of this. If you did change this, guys, right here, go ahead and click File and click Save. Or click the X and then click Save when prompted to. Now we're going to scroll on down to stop the pad right here. You have a .dll and an INI. Double click that INI file right there. Oh, I'm sorry guys. Not stop the pad. No, 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 no. Not stop the pad. We did that yesterday. <laughs> speed radar light. I'm so sorry guys. So double click um, this speed radar light right here. I'm so sorry guys. My headache is really getting to me. Um, okay, so my files, guys, as always, are already pre-manipulated pre and um, uh, they're already uh, pre-manipulated and pre-modified. So yours is probably going to say something a little different than the I. It might say the same thing. I'm not too sure. But I did change mine to I. Um, if, you, if you want, if it's something different, I can't really remember. But if it is and you want to change it, go ahead. If you want to leave it the way it is. You can leave it the way it is, um, but I would highly recommend changing it to what I'm what I have on my keyboard because everything, everything on my keyboard the way it's set, nothing clashes. Okay, so like what I mean by that is is none of my mods ever clash together. Like if I hit the B button, I only have what's on the B button open up. Okay, so it I never have anything clash. So if you guys want to do it the way I'm doing it. I've got the toggle key for the speed radar light at left shift key I, okay? And scrolling on down right here, key to increase threshold speed, five units increment, okay? So what this is, guys, right here, is this, uh, this allows you to um, raise the speed on your radar or lower it, okay? Now to increase my speed on my radar, I have that set to just I. And then on this one right here I have it set to O so what you would do here guys to lower and raise your speed on your radar is you would hit hold down the left control key and then hit I to raise it and then hit O to lower it okay I don't know if I set it up here but up here guys to turn on your speed radar light you have to hit the left shift key and I to turn it on okay and turn it off so that's about it in that area guys right there uh, if you do change this to different letters, just make sure they're capitalized. They have to be capitalized or they will not work, guys. Okay, it'll just be a complete waste of time. All right, so down here, I do want to show you guys one more thing. Right here, the initial speed threshold, you may increase or decrease it using keys above speed threshold equals 50. Now, yours should say 70, okay? Now, what that means is as soon as you speed, you pull up your speed radar light, it's going to automatically be set to 70 miles an hour. Now, the reason I put mine on 50 is because I'm on the interstates a lot, okay? I spend a lot of my time on the interstates radar in, and then when I, if I have to go into town, a lot of times I'll lower the speed limit to about 30, so I don't have to go down very far, and if I want to raise the speed limit to, say, 60, I only got to hold down, you know, the left control key and, and hit the uh, I, you know, two times to raise it, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, guys, that is it for that. So with the fact that you made changes, guys, as always, click that File button and click Save. Or click X and click Save when prompted to. All right, guys, so that is it on the installation part. It's pretty much that simple. Go ahead back to your main page on your directory and click Refresh. Click X and close out. So, guys, here's what's going to happen. Um, we are going to launch Rage the way that we launched it yesterday. So... You're going to click Rage and then immediately hold down your left shift key, okay? So let's do this together. One, two, three, click Rage, hold down left shift key. Just keep holding it. Keep holding it until that box pops up. All right. 
and it should pop up any second here there we go all right so we've already went over this guys um if you need to know about the threshold and all that uh, go to my video from yesterday i'll leave the links in the description below for my uh updated lspdfr tutorials playlist my updated lspdfr tutorials playlist i'll leave all that down in the description below uh right here guys okay you want to click load these plugins on startup now if you guys have been following my tutorials then you will have these right here you'll especially have this but you'll also have these two with it clear the way v and vehicle search if you do not uh, click that link below that says updated LSPFR tutorials playlist and go back a couple videos and it will show you uh, clear the way v and how to install it okay so go ahead and go over here to check all then go back up and click load all plugins on startup all right and then you guys are safe to go ahead and click save and launch because we know that game settings are already set but you guys go ahead and click save and launch and i will see you guys inside of the game all right guys so we are loading into the game here uh hope you guys are having a great week so far and you're enjoying my videos i hope you guys are happy and where you want to be in life uh that you're staying a consistent prayer with god or some kind of meditation I do appreciate your love and support, guys and girls. It really does mean a lot to me that you guys are here watching my videos. Just want to say that. Just want to say that everybody that watches my video, make sure you slap a like on my video for me. So if I get 50 people to watch my video or 100 people to watch my video, I want every single one of you to slap a like on my video because the more likes I get, the more YouTube puts my videos out there. The more people see them, the more people it helps. And there's tons of people out there still tons of people out there that do not know about my channel okay and that need to know about my channel because you know i've seen a few youtubers that do tutorials but anyone will tell you nobody goes into detail like i do i go into deep detail with this mod because i want people to understand what it's all about okay that's that's the whole point of me doing this channel is i do it for you guys all right so let's go over here we can actually probably just grab this cop car right here. We don't need nothing real real fancy. We're going to be installing ELS here real soon, guys. So, And Radiance as well. We're going to be getting Open IV files. I think we've got about six plugins left to install. And then we're going to start getting an Open IV. So uh, that will probably be uh, by at least the end of the week or maybe the beginning of next week. That will be getting Open IV. But just bear with me on that, guys. We're going to get through all these mods, guys. Trust me. I'm going to show you how to install every single realistic mod an updated mod that comes with lspdfr okay all the essentials so guys let's go ahead and start with pulling up our simple trainer um well i'm going to you guys don't have to but i am going to load my weapons for this uh particular episode uh, let me go down give me just one second guys i apologize but i had to have my weapons loaded okay and there we go if you guys want to want to save some weapons, if you don't know how to do it in your simple trainer, go to weapons, and then all you have is like here's all your weapons right here. See your parachute, knife, nightstick, hammer, baseball bat, crowbar. All these are your weapons right here, guys. If you scroll over, he's gonna open the door as always. I can't stand when he does that. Put your flashlight away, broski. All right, here's all your weapons, and then you just you just add them to your character, okay? And then when you're done. All you have to do is go up to this weapons load save, all right? So like, just say if you got some saved weapons, you that you have weapons you want to save, go up here where it says save all weapons slot one or slot two, wherever you want to save it, and then just click enter or A on your controller, and it'll save it. Now I'm sorry, in simple trainer it would be five. You click five to, to save it. So that's how you do it. Then when you want to load them, you go back to the slot you loaded them in, just like that, and you would click five on the number pad. Or click A on the controller, and it loads them right up, just like that. It's actually very convenient, guys. You can put flashlight mods on them and everything. I got flashlight mods on my guns, like on all my guns. I have flashlight mods. Um, and it saves them just like that. So when you go back to get them, they're all, they've are all they all always got the mods on there that you left on there. So, with that being said, let's jump in this cruiser. And we are going to actually go ahead and do speed radar light first. We'll do AL Pure light next. Okay? So go ahead and whatever you chose, whatever button you chose to turn on your speed radar light, go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna turn mine on. Mine is the left shift I. Okay, see how it comes up as a 50 mile an hour threshold? 
So I'm going to hold down left control and hit O and lower that down to 20 miles an hour because we are in town. All right. So here we go. And you can either sit still and radar or you can just drive around and do it. I pref preferably when I'm on the interstate, I like to sit still and radar. But when I'm driving through town, I like to drive and see there goes somebody doing 25 right there. All right. So let's uh, let's turn around and go get them. And he ran that stop sign. He ran that stop sign and that red light too as well. Oh, let's light him up. That's pretty much how it works, guys. That's that's it right there. Look at him. Yeah, he ran a red light. What do we get compu light, guys? That's gonna be awesome. I might do that next. I might do compu light next. Whoops, my mistake. All right, and ropeway. Dispatch, yeah. Uh, Money at 1028 on a 49 Victor John Adam 597. Suspects license plate 49 Victor John Adam 597. No 1099. All right, so now that you guys know how it works, I'm going to cancel the traffic stop. All right, now let me show you guys a little trick here real quick. Let me pull up on the sidewalk, which is very illegal. All right. See how it showed there in the corner? It shows the vehicle, uh, the color of the vehicle, and how fast they're going. See that? Okay. So if you want to lower your speed or if you want to raise your speed, you're going to hold down your left control key, and you're going to push the buttons that you selected to lower and raise your speed. So if you want to lower it, you just hit that button. Mine's O, so that Attention lowers mine. One, see that? Adam, seven. Or you can raise report, it up. A DUI on a just Del tap Carol that key freeway. over and over again. Just like that. I'm gonna raise it, lower it, just like that, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and deactivate our speed radar light by holding down the left shift. Jeez. You know what, guys? I'm gonna go ahead and turn my calls off. I did it. For, I left it off for the realism, but I'm gonna turn them off so we don't get interrupted. Okay, so let's go ahead and deactivate our speed radar light by holding down left shift and the I key if that's what you set it to. All right. Now, ALPR light, guys. Very simple. Whatever F key you chose to activate and deactivate it, push that now. Mine's F8, so it's going to come on. Now, if you guys don't know what this is, what it simply does is it picks up people uh, in their vehicles that have, like, suspended license, uh, wanted suspects, expired registrations, etc. That's pretty much what ALPR light does. It's like a, it's like a system all around your car, like a, just it's all around your vehicle. So there's sensors on your vehicle that actually makes this ARPL light work. All right, so as soon as we get somebody, you'll see it because it will tell you. And uh, also on speed of radar light, guys, when you see somebody speeding, it pulls them up on the map as a red blip and they start blinking. They'll blink for six seconds if you guys caught that while ago, okay? So let's actually get around this traffic. All right, so there goes somebody right there. Stolen vehicle. Is that... Is that this guy right here? I believe that's this guy right here, actually. Thank you for that. Yeah, a stolen vehicle. Right there, right there in front of me. A stolen vehicle, we're gonna light him up. That's what AOPR light does, guys. It gets the bad guys. Pull on over, man, come on. Uh, let me have him pull over a little bit. Traffic police for left control W. We're going to have him pull over right over. As soon as the traffic's clear, I'm going to have him pull over right there. Take it up just a little bit and bring it out. All right, let's make sure our traffic is clear. Looks like it's gonna be here in just a minute. We'll go ahead and have him pull over. He should be safe to do so. Go, man. Dude, what are you doing, broski? Alright, go, man. Alright, so he's going to more than likely pull up on the sidewalk there, I hope, because that's. That was real smart. Yeah, see, th this AI is for you. This is why we need AI fluidity and discipline. That'll go a long way with Clear the Way V. But anyway, guys, that's how AOPR light works. Let me cancel out of that. 
Watch out, girl. I'm gonna let you go this time, man. You're lucky this is not a real episode. But anyway, guys, that's Speed Radar Light and ALPR Light for you. Uh, there's not much else to it. That's pretty much it. I just wanted to come into game real quick and show you guys how the mod works because I like doing that. Uh, as I said um, in my last video, some and you know some mods just aren't necessary for me to go in a video with. Go ahead and deactivate your ALPR Light if you want to. I'm gonna deactivate mine. See how it said expired license, and it's blipping them on the map yellow. See that? So that's the guy actually going around the corner right there. He's the one that just took off. So that would be him right here. You just light him up. Just like that. That's it, guys. That is pretty much it. So thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate the love and support. As always, guys, links are in the description for my Pharma Simulator 17 and 19 tutorials, as well as my other LSPDFR tutorial playlist. And my advanced LSPDFR tutorials will be down there as well, guys. Uh, also, guys, if you don't mind, my PayPal account link is down there, too. A few dollars here and there donated to me would really help me out a lot, guys. And I, would, I always greatly appreciate the donations. Uh, just as much as I appreciate your likes and your support to this channel, guys. Um, you know, but anyway, guys, I love you all so much. Thank you for tuning in my video today. I appreciate it so much. Until next time, till next video, till next tutorial. God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out.